do uh, binomial probability questions with the calculator. If you, if you have something like this that's a lot of different cases and you really don't want to do them all manually like this, here you're repeatedly doing this 25 times, right? And if somebody says at least 16 times or at, at most 15 times, there's a lot of cases to consider there, right? If you had to work them out all individually, zero or one or two or three up to, up to 15, right? You don't want to work out each of those individually manually and add them together. You could, but I, I do want to show you the calculator function that's going to allow you to do this. So we're going to, we're going to work with this situation here. You're spinning this thing and it says you're spinning it 25 times. So n is 25. We want to know, I'll write it over here, n is 25. We want to know what's the chance of having, in this case, x is 16. n is 25, x is 16, right? What's the probability of success in this case? What's the chance it's going to end up on a? If all those sections are equal? Three out of eight, three out of eight right? You got one, two, three out of eight. Three out of eight. So that means Q is five out of eight. In this case, which in this, what do I need to consider here? N is still 25 times. P is still the same. Q is still the same. But what would X be in here? X is a lot of different things, isn't it? 16, 17, 18, up to what? 25. What about this one down here? At most 15? N is still the same, P is still the same. What's X? What numbers am I looking at here? 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 15, right? There's a lot of different cases. What does no more than 10 mean? What's X here? No more than 10? Less, it means less than 10? No more than 10 means something different than less than 10. 10 and under. Yeah, no more than 10 means 10 and under, right? 10 includes 10. This includes 10, right? So this is 0, 1, 2, up to 10. I want, I do, okay, so I'll show you how to use the calculator feature. We will do this one first. Here's the calculator feature. This is for this particular type of calculator. I'm sure there's equivalent things on other calculators. Let's go to this particular calculator. This is on this. I, I don't know uh, other more simple calculators if they have this feature. Some newer ones might, but this is the, if you want a name for it, it is the binomial probability distribution distribution function does that seem like a good name for it because a distribution meaning all the different possibilities how is it how is the probability distributed amongst the different things on the calculator they abbreviate this as binome on this calculator binome PDF This allows you to, this calculates one single case. Calculates one single value or whatever, I don't know. I'll show you what I mean by one single value. Like this down here is one case, right? One case. I will show you right now on the calculator. But first I want you to realize this will calculate one single thing on there. On the calculator, it's under distribution on this calculator. You go to this button that says distr above variables, distributions. So you go second, distributions. There's a whole bunch of distributions we do not do. But there is the one we do. It is number well, zero, binome PDF. You hit enter and it goes back to that home screen. Did you want to see where to get it again? 
distribution down to number eight, or you could be tricky and go off the bottom. You get there quicker if you want to maximize or minimize your. Or you press zero, yes, okay, if you want to be really tricky. Uh, you get that. You have to put in three things here. You have to put in N, the number of trials. You have to put in the probability of success is the next thing. What was the probability of success? Three divided by eight, sorry. Three divided by eight. And the last thing, you have to use commas. The commas above the seven on this particular calculator. What was the last thing you have to put? It can figure out Q. If you give it P, it can figure out Q, so you don't need to put in the Q. You need to know X, so I'm going to put in 16 here, right? And you put enter and it gives you a number. Let me uh, do this. It does help. That is the answer. I know that I bias you towards putting fractions, but let's take a picture of this and see. I guess we don't need the whole thing there. Come on. Now, we're going to go over here. We're going to put this next to what it is here. You could calculate it by hand. That's the number that's going to come up. That's the value that, that it gives you here, right? I guess I should have put it up here. Because I can write on it then. Notice that this, that's, uh, that's N. This is P. And then, and then X, right? Binome PDF, you put that in there. This means this is 0.4% roughly. Or if you want a few more decimal places, 455 roughly if you're rounding it off. It probably won't turn it into a fraction because it involves such a big denominator. I know I biased you before into thinking you should do fractions, but you don't have to. I do want to show you that you can put in multiple things in here. Let's go back to the calculator and you can put in multiple things here. Let's say I wanted to know a few of them. Let's say I wanted to know not just 16, but I wanted to know 16, um, 17, and 18. I could put a list of numbers in here instead of 16. To put numbers in a list, you need to put these little squiggly brackets here above the regular bracket keys. So if I put in that and say 16, 17, 18, I think, well, this will demonstrate the point, right? Oh, you want to do, this is not any question. This is just showing you how the calculator works. If you want to put this in, it'll, it won't give you a single value. It'll give you a list of values. The first one of which is the one we just calculated. But then if you scroll across, it just saves you time if you want a whole bunch of them. Please notice that some of them, if the numbers are small enough, how is the answer given? Scientific notation, right? So don't just skip that and say, look, it's 3.85. You can't have a probability more than one, right? More than 100%. You can put in lists like that if you want. Does that make sense?